Uh, spring cleaning season will see many of us clearing out the wardrobe of old clothes, either too old, too small or too far behind modern fashion to see the light of day ever again. But Anita Arn has been to meet a man in Glasgow who's discovered by happy accident that leaving old clothes in the attic for a few decades can turn out to be a very profitable bit of hoarding. It's the end of the 1970s and the shutters on this warehouse door somewhere on the outskirts of Glasgow were well and truly locked, its contents unwanted and forgotten. Until, that is, Bally Rackra went snooping around in his father's warehouse. What was your first reaction when you saw that he's got all this untouched stock from the 70s? I didn't really know what to think because all the boxes were kind of like closed over, but as soon as I started looking through them, I, I just thought this is... Uh... This is amazing. <laughs> this reminds me of what I used to wear as a kid. That's um, some Scottish knitwear from the 70s. This is amazing. And this was manufactured by my dad um, at the time. Levi's action slacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder who remembers Sloopy Jeans. This has got Giles Brandreth written all over it. And you didn't know any of this stuff was here? No. When the fashions changed from the 70s to the 80s, they just got boxed up and put up here, apparently. But what uh -huh. did your dad make of it all? For me, it was strange that he didn't understand that these things had come back in. Um, and when I told him about this, I think he still doesn't quite get it. Do you actually understand why people might want to wear this 1970s garments? According to my son, <laughs> there's some people, uh, they want to have old styles and I think the mostly the students. Rebecca, what's exciting about finding a warehouse full of 70s clothing? Well, there are two things. The first is the provenance, the fact that they were made by this manufacturer who then provided the clothing for the high street. And that's the history that we tend to lose. We know the labels, but not the people who made them. And then, of course, there's the clothes themselves, to see such good pieces still in pristine condition. Often the pieces that get kept tends to be the wedding dresses, the best day dresses. And what we are losing is that every day, the high street pieces. But these 70s relics aren't just museum pieces. Do you understand what your son is going to do with all this stock? Well, he thinks he can be able to sell this stuff. What do you think? I think he can. Three decades after Nahar locked away these once unfashionable outfits, they could, well, once again be strutting their stuff down a very trendy high street near you. <laughs> We heard mention there that there was some stuff suitable for Giles Brandreth. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yes. I don't if he pull anything off. Well, I don't know if if Giles had turned up wearing that today, I wouldn't have thought it necessarily been in somebody's uh, attic for the last exactly. three decades. Well, you, can... well, no, you look great, Giles. Thank you. <laughs> Giles fans, he'll be in shortly. Don't worry. Now, Jane and Christopher.